Oh, I just have so much more. More and more. Trader Joe's. I love Joe. It is the first day of winter, everybody, and you know what that means. That means we are ready to announce my empties for the fall season. I have a big bag full. This bag is heavy, and I'm really excited because I went through so many products. Oh my God. Um, as always, I'm going to categorize these into makeup, hair care, skin care, miscellaneous categories, and I will have the timestamps down below. But before we get started, I wanted to go ahead and let you guys know that a portion of this video is sponsored by Luxury Scentbox. Do you ever just think about luxury, but then you also think about your budget and you just feel like there's no happy medium? Well, Luxury Scentbox is right for you. Now, this is actually a perfume subscription service that is only $15 a month and they carry all types of luxury fragrances. And I just honestly feel like this is like the perfect medium for me because I do have luxury fragrances in my collection and I feel like the amount of fragrances that I actually use in a ratio of the price and the ratio of how long I've had some fragrances for sometimes I feel like I may or may not be wasting some of my money because my fragrances might expire on me for example I do have this one by Dolce & Gabbana this is the only one and I've had this for a little over a year now and I've barely used it even though I use it almost every day I say I use this weekly now the great thing about Lux SB is that their fragrances are so inclusive. They have women's fragrances, men's fragrances, as well as unisex. I kid you not, when I looked on their website and I looked at the list of fragrances that they actually have to offer, I saw so many brands that I didn't know of and I saw so many fragrances that I wanted to try but I honestly just didn't have the confidence to actually go up to a counter to actually smell them. Um, so it's really, really convenient. I feel like the nine milliliters of product is just enough for me personally because I only do like a couple of spritz and I'm ready to leave the house. So I find that myself, I really enjoy, you know, the accessibility with the travel sizes. But if you actually like fragrances a little bit more than I do and you wish that they had larger sizes, they do have those available as well. Now really quickly, I'm gonna go ahead and talk about some of the fragrances that I am holding in my hand. The first one here is Montel Wild Pears. Now this one is more like a sweeter, fresh scent. It's definitely nothing um, too mature. I don't really like mature florals, but this one was really nice and sweet. Um, this is the Lord Chester Electro Limonade. When I first got that fragrance, I honestly just thought it was going to be like super citrusy, but it wasn't. It was actually like super woodsy, but fresh, a little bit of floral, a little bit of citrus. There was just a lot in there and it was really nice. Once it developed on the skin, it just smelled delicious. Um, and then the last one here is the Galavant Los Angeles and this one is definitely more on the woodsier side. Not as like fresh and clean but definitely more musky um, and woodsy. <laughs> So if you, your friends, or your family want to spice up their fragrance wardrobe for the new season, I highly encourage Lux SB for the luxury perfumes because you do get quite a bit of product and it's not that expensive, only $15 a month and you can cancel anytime. It's literally no hassle. Like if you don't want it anymore, like it's totally fine. And they have so many fragrances from around the world. So definitely check that out and let's go ahead and get started into my empties. So last season we went through, I, oh my God, how many nail polishes? I think 58 nail polishes. I only have 22 nail polishes, unfortunately. I was trying to beat it, but I went through a lot of top coats, surprisingly. I decided this um, time around for last season, I wanted to come out with more designs for my nails as opposed to just solid colors. So that's probably the reason why. Um, if you guys haven't shopped my small business, go ahead and check out shopbeautybyjasmineyin.com for some beautiful press-on nails. Um, so yeah, I only have 22 of them, but that's totally fine. Now let's go ahead and mosey on into makeup. Now I actually cleansed out my client kit, so I actually have a lot that was actually in that kit, as well as my own that I felt like some I fully ran out of and then some just honestly needed to go. It was expired. Now I'm going to go ahead and start off with the Urban Decay All Nighter Mist. Now this is the old packaging. I really do 
like the all nighter. I feel like it really does help. Do I think it's the best? No, but I do think it is really nice, especially if you can get it on sale or a discount. Sometimes Urban Decay has the buy, buy one, get one free package deal during the holidays. So in that sense, I do think it is worth it. My beloved Pure 4-in-1 foundation. This foundation, I think, is my 2020 favorite. This had lasted me so long, and I felt like it was, like, the best foundation ever. Like, I truly think that this foundation is slept on. I feel like there are only a couple of people in this world who actually continue to use it, and it wasn't just a marketing ploy. Like, yes, they came out with 100 shades, but the formula is so bomb. Like, it feels lightweight on the skin. It's lightweight, but you could build it up to full coverage and still not feel it on the skin. It's actually quite amazing. I don't know how they did it, but the shade that I was wearing was MG3. We went through quite a bit of mascara. Now mascara is actually something that I actually like to go through every three months. So a lot of these I did have in my kit. Some of these I had these personally. Now the first one that I want to talk about is my Urban Decay Lash Freak. I know I have been raving about this recently, but I did have it for about four months now and I think this is just time to go. I have my Fenty Beauty Full Frontal. I've had this since the summer. It's ready to just leave now. Um, I have here the Revolution Blowout High Volume Mascara. This is actually pretty good. I have another one for myself that I'm using currently and this stuff is actually pretty nice once you build it up. The first layer isn't really anything special. And then I have the full size as well as the mini of the Touch and Soul Stretch X Mascara. This is just great for length gives you no volume whatsoever, but it will lengthen the appearance of your lashes. I did go through quite a bit of brow gel. Now, I had these CoverGirl ones in my client kit. These ones are pretty good. I felt like they got the job done. They were really easy to work with. They weren't clumpy at all, and that's the reason why I kept them in my kit. Brow gel is not a necessary step for me when I do clients makeups or even myself. I just feel like it's a nice step if I do remember. Now for myself, I actually use the Pro Fusion Good Brow Day Tinted Brow Gel. This was really thick. Uh, thick for no reason. I felt like it looked nice in the brow, but once you took it out of the container, it was thick and dry. And I just felt like that type of formula really wasn't it for me, so I decided to just let it go. Oh, and then I also ran through an Essence Make Me Brow. This stuff is actually really, really good. I need another one. This one's not in my shade. This one was in my client kit. I just feel like it makes the brows look so full and fresh. I have a lot of eyeliners and I'm really excited because a lot of these I actually used up till they were done and then some of them they just didn't age really well. So I have two of the Silly George Liner Bonds. Um, I do have a review on that on my channel here. I have two retractable liners from Kat Von D as well as Real Her, and I actually like keeping this in my client kit because it's easy to sanitize, it's easy to use, and it's super long lasting. So really love those. Um, I have this one from Shop Missé that did not age really well. This is the Stellar Holographic Liquid Eyeliner. Once this kind of ages, it gets really, really chunky, and it's not really my jam anymore, so I had to declutter that. And then my goal was to actually use up a lot of my ColourPop eyeliners because they were actually really dry and they're not my favorite formula. Um, so I went through three shades. I went through the red, the pink, and the yellow. I went through my Lily Lashes Lash Adhesive. This stuff literally bulletproof. Um, the Silly George Magnetic Eyeliner. I decided to declutter this because I find that my Glamnetic one works a lot better than this one. I had this for two years and I never use it. It's the Dose of Colors Heartbreaker Liquid Lipstick. It's a little mini. I ran through another Tarte Shape Tape crazy like I go through these like it's nothing like it's water um, so I have the shade here light medium finished up the color pop translucent powder this took longer than necessary to finish up even though it is so small and then finally in my client kit I did have the ABH chocolate dip brow and she's done she's literally all done and over with so she's ready to be tossed hair care was non-successful I should say. Um, I definitely felt like I was using a lot in the shower but I guess dumping everything out I guess I didn't. So I have only three items. I have here a shampoo and conditioner from Brio Geo. 
beautiful. I love Briogeo so freaking much. This one is the Ginseng and Biotin Blossom and Bloom Shampoo and Conditioner. This stuff is absolutely amazing. It's a black owned brand if you guys didn't know. And I love the fact that 98% of this formula is naturally derived. It also doesn't really have a lot of things. It doesn't have any sulfates, no parabens, no silicones, no phthalates, no artificial colors, and no DEA. Love that. I only have a little bit of the conditioner left in my shower, but this is by Derma E. It's their thickening shampoo for thinning hair. My mom told me that my hair looked like it was thinning and so I got really nervous and that's the reason why I decided to use this because I didn't want my hair to fall out. I don't know. She said I was balding and I, I got... I got nervous, um, but this is actually really nice. I felt like the formula itself really helped my dandruff and it helped with the itching a lot. So not only was this great for my thinning hair, but it was also great for dandruff too. I am not even ready to talk about all of the skincare that I used. I used so much skincare. Um, I just genuinely think that it's necessary to use this much, okay? I genuinely think that there's a time and place for everything, and I think that quarantine is the time and place for good skin, okay? I, I just think that you can't just not wash your face and expect to have clear skin like this. I think there's a process that needs to, that just needs to happen, and here it is. I'm not gonna go in any particular order. I'm gonna grab whatever is in front of me, but let me tell you, um, this is too much for one person, but enough for Jasmine. We got a lot of moisturizers here. I was a crusty person. Um, so we have the Florin B Creme de la Creme Moisturizing Face Cream. I didn't think that this was too moisturizing. I definitely felt like I had to layer up other moisturizers on top of this, which was fine. I felt like if you have normal or oily skin, you might like it better. Um, I do have normal skin, but because the weather is a lot colder, I need something a little bit more hydrating. Now, this one is the Tarte Double Duty Beauty First Step Prep. This is the Moisture Reset Cream. I have this in my client kit, and surprisingly, a lot of my clients don't do their skincare prior to getting their makeup done. So I have like a very mini skincare kit in my client kit as well, just to prep the skin to make it nice and juicy. This is my baby. I don't know what I would do without this. This is my second tub of the Derma E Scar Gel that I ran through. I need to get another one because it really does help. I do have some scars on my body that I do want to get rid of, and this has honestly been helping tremendously. So this is my baby, and on top of this, what I do is I actually use bio oil, and that will just seal it into my skin. I feel like once I have that oil layer, I'm like, ready. I'm set. I just feel like I have everything that I need to get rid of my scarring and honestly now that I've used both of these bottles up I feel like the scarring that I do have is essentially like non-existent. It's only just a little bit of pigment left and that's it. First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Oil Control Moisturizer. This was really good. It was really lightweight. It was more of a jelly type texture. And then I have a little sample of the Biosan Squalane and Omega Repair Cream. I am not a fan of Biosan's moisturizers. I feel like their cleansers and their oils are where they really shine through. Revolution Vitamin C Serum. This is 3% Vitamin C. I felt like it was okay. Um, I honestly felt like I saw more of a difference with like my other items like my scar gel or even some of my AHAs, things like that. I have here the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Oat and Hemp Seed Dry Oil. This is so bomb. This is slept on. I hear nobody talking about this, but this felt delightful on the skin. It literally sank into the skin within seconds, and it's an oil, but it's claimed to be a dry oil, and it's just like, makes sense. It makes sense to have a dry oil because if you don't like feeling greasy or oily, that's where to look. And then also I have here the Juice Beauty Stem Cellular Anti-Wrinkle Eye Treatment. I remember I mentioned this in one of my hits and misses videos and I mentioned this as a hit because I saw results. Little did I know, I think I was actually allergic to it because from that video forward, I started getting increasingly hotter burns on my skin and that's not really good so I ended up just using this for my smile lines as well as my forehead towards the last couple of months when I did have this. 
Ooh, we got a lot of first aid beauty here. Um, so I have here the first aid beauty face cleanser. I didn't like this. It stung my eyes really, really bad. And I felt like it just could have been better. I just felt like it could have been better for more sensitive skin. And that's the whole claim of first aid beauty is that they're sensitive skin friendly. But because my eyes really, really burned with this, I'm gonna give it like a three out of 10. And then I also finished up the Ultra Repair Hydrating Serum. This was actually pretty good. I don't think it was the most hydrating serum that I've ever tried. And trust me, I go through a lot of serum. Serum is one of my favorite steps in skincare, and I just felt like this was mediocre. It was good, it did its job, but it wasn't the most hydrating. Talk about a hidden gem. I got this in a BoxyCharm a long, long time ago, and I finally decided to use it. It's the Pharmacy Very Cherry Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. This Oh my god, this, I did not want this to end at all. Even though I have other cleansing balms that needed to be used in my collection, I was really sad when I finally finished it. And normally I get excited when things are done, but this one, I just wish I had more of it because the way that it melted off my makeup and the way it rinsed off with water was so beautiful. It did not have an oily film at all and it just made my skin feel extra, extra clean without stripping my skin of its moisture. So every month I have a skincare subscription box that comes to me, it's by Star Skin. And recently, in the past few months, they've been sending me a lot from this brand, Cliv. And this is their multi-hyaluronic ampule, and this stuff is so hydrating. Like, this is probably one of the most hydrating serums I have ever, ever used. I know it's considered an ampule, but I just think that this product was just so chef's kiss to me. Um, I have their other serums and ampules in my bathroom right now and they just work so incredibly well. It's so high quality. The actual bottle itself, I know it's in a little dropper. The dropper is beautiful. Like it actually works. It picks up a lot of products. And again, this was another product that I was super sad to have run out of, but you know, I'm happy that I have some backups because this stuff is beautiful. I have here a 43 Beauty Rose Face Milk. I have never tried a face milk. This was my first one. And dare I say I don't like it. I just think that it just felt like water on the skin. I felt like it did not give me anything. And my face didn't hate it, but also it just wasn't that great. I just felt like it was so beginner skincare friendly that I just felt like I'm in an age now where I'm starting to get into anti-aging products and this was just not doing anything for me as a matter of fact. Um, here's another serum that I have. It's by OK and it is their Illuminating Chuck Chuck Serum. This has hyaluronic acid and B3. This was really good. I think considering that it is a drugstore Korean brand, it actually did its job really, really well. It made my skin feel instantly plump and hydrated, and I actually really, really am into this. I have some more of their skincare in my bathroom, and I really want to get into it because this gave a really good taste in my mouth, so really excited about that. Got some more things from Florin B. Now, I think I used up their entire kit that they sent me when I did do that one review. So I have here their Eyes Eyes Baby Eye Cream. I ended up using this for um, my scars that were on my body, and I just felt like it just really helped lock in the moisture. Um, I have here the Rose Water Toner. This stuff is really, really, really good. I do feel like my skin feels instantly hydrated, and it feels really calm right after and I love putting this in my skincare fridge. I felt like when it wasn't in my skincare fridge it was a mediocre spray but once it entered the fridge and once it spritzed on my face it was like a whole new product. And then here I have the Everyday Facial Cleanser. This wasn't my favorite. I felt like it was very jelly-like and it didn't really do the best job at cleansing my face, especially as a double cleanser. This was strictly used in the morning because I did not have anything on my face aside from residual skincare from the night before. Here's another 4th Ray Beauty product. This is a cleansing oil. I don't know the name of it because it's completely rubbed off, but this is mediocre. I think from the times that I have tried 4th Ray Beauty, 
it's just been okay. I think I'm very spoiled because I have tried a lot from really expensive skincare companies and there is so much skincare that I absolutely love. So I feel like sometimes when I finish up a product, sometimes I feel like I'm not as satisfied as I feel like I could be. Um, so I'm happy that I was able to give this a try. It did work. It did cleanse off my makeup beautifully, but I just felt like it was okay at the end of the day. This is my baby, this one right here. So good. The Shiseido Ultimate Protector Lotion SPF 50 Plus. This is my favorite. This literally is like the pinnacle of my happiness when it comes to sunscreen. It just works so incredibly well. It is clear, it is invisible, it's water friendly, like ocean friendly, and I know it's a little bit expensive, but honestly, trust me, if you can get it on sale, get it get it get it get it that's all i could say oh i just have so much more more and more so i have here the shiseido refreshing cleansing water this was actually pretty good i don't think it's the best cleansing water in my opinion but it did do the job pretty well without burning my eyes and then here i have the biosan squalane and tea tree cleansing gel i went through this so fast and this was only in my shower and I don't know how or why I went through it as fast as I did, but it worked really, really well. I felt like my skin definitely felt clear immediately because it does have tea tree, so it has like that minty essence to it where you feel like you're just refreshed, and that's the reason why I like it so much. Here's another cleanser that I use. This is by Banish. It's their All Clear Mint Cleanser. This one was really strange because I had to pump this out 10 times in my hands to get like a full lather all over my face. And that's a lot of pumps. But you know, ultimately I felt like with the mintiness, it did make my face feel very clear, similar to the Biosans, which was really, really nice. And I felt like with this, my skin just looked really good. I just remember the one month that I used this, my skin was just, crystal clear and then when I stopped using this my skin was like hey get back to it girl get back to it okay really quickly I have the your serum number three I went through this really really fast um, I did have a video talking about your skincare so if you were thinking of a personalized skincare regimen definitely check out that video um, this one worked pretty well I felt like this really did help my scars on my body I, I do use my skincare um, both on my face neck and body so I do try and utilize it and that's the reason why I use it up so fast was because I was trying to clear up uh, the things on my body Body. and also I used up the Derma E blue light shield spray this was not good I don't recommend her um, if you are somebody who's like obsessing with the blue light trend right now Sydney uh, this one is not it don't waste your money on this I feel like the smell is just so green like it's just so um, unrefreshing <laughs> you spray this and you just feel so unsatisfied but speaking of Derma E, I also ran through their microdermabrasion scrub and I did keep this in my shower. And this was really, really great. You're not supposed to rub your face for too long. I only did this for once a week. And I felt like it was really, really great. Sometimes if my hands were really, really crusty, I would actually use this as a hand exfoliant and my hands would be brand spanking new. So this one was actually really, really good. I don't use a lot of exfoliators, let alone physical exfoliators, but this is something that I do recommend, especially if if you are looking for something really really quick to just clear your skin of any type of dead skin cells. This is another item that I got in my Korean skincare subscription box. This is by Essen Herb and it's their Bulgarian Rose Cream. This is great to help nourish the skin as well as hydrate it. Now I do have their serum in my client kit and it literally is like magic in a bottle. Like it instantly just plumps up the face and makes it look so pristine and perfect. Really do like this stuff, I highly recommend it. Um, and then I have here some lip products. Now I have here the Biosense Rose Vegan Lip Balm. 
trash. I don't like this. This really did nothing for the lips. It was like even worse than Vaseline and I hate putting Vaseline on my lips. Um, and then I also finished the Glossier Balm.com. This stuff is my baby. This stuff really does seal in the moisture. This is really similar to Vaseline, but I feel like the difference between this and Vaseline is that this has a longer staying time on the lips and it doesn't feel too heavy or too slippery. It literally has like the right consistency for me. So really do love this. And that was my second bottle of the Glossier Bomb.com that I went through. Second, second, full size. Oh my God, I am crusty. Um, but let's go ahead and talk about some sheet masks. Now, um, I feel like all these sheet masks essentially do the same thing. I just feel like they give you instant hydration. Oh my God, is that the moon? Oh, it's so pretty. I have here the Dr. Zenovia Advanced Retinol Night Repair Treatment. This one was super, super hydrating. Uh, Shiseido Benefion's Wrinkle Resist 24 Eye Mask, really good. I have the Patchology and Kimchi Collaboration Mask. I felt like Patchology masks are not that special. I feel like they're really overpriced, but it was fun to just support Kimchi. I have some masks from J Lash and their skincare line is called J Mask. So I have here their Honey Mask. I have the uh, Waterlock Hydro Gel Mask. I love the Hydro Jelly Masks. I also have here some foot pads <laughs> because I have been trying to get my feet looking right and I also wanted to help purify my feet as well. I don't know how well it works. I felt nothing. Um, and then I also have that Cliv brand again and I have their Retinol Lifting Ampule Mask. So good. More J Mask. I have the Aloe. I have the Pearl. Another Shiseido Benefiance. I have a J Mask Avocado. And then I have this random lip mask that I got as a free gift and it's all in Chinese so can't really read it for you. Now we are on to our final category which is body, cleanliness, self-care, things of that nature. I'm going to start off strong with some Summer's Eve, some vaginal care if you will. Now I didn't know that Summer's Eve was bad for your vagina and essentially bad for your pH. Now it does says it is pH balancing but upon research and upon hearing about some gynecologist talking about this product, I just decided to finish what I had left and to just leave it as is. Um, essentially, your vagina self-cleans and this, because it has fragrance, is not good for your vagina. So, I wanted to let you guys know in case you haven't heard the news. Um, and then, alongside that, I have had um, my fair share of body washes. Now, here are the body washes that I was using. So I have here from The Body Shop, the British Rose, beautiful light scent. Um, I also was using a lot of bar soap, so I don't have those to show you because they're down the drain. Um, but I have been refilling this bottle with my Dr. Bronner's soap. Now what I do is I do an equal part of Dr. Bronner's to water, and that is like the perfect ratio so that you're not using too much Dr. Bronner's on your skin. Now this is a pure Castile soap and it has a lot of different uses. Um, so I have these ones, you know, to wash my hands, to clean the bathroom, to use as body wash. Super multi-purposeful, so I highly recommend Dr. Bronner's if you haven't tried it already. I have here two hand soaps, so when I do use a Dr. Bronner's as hand soaps, I do that same ratio one to one, but I like to put it in the foaming um, containers because I feel like it just feels better because it's just so liquidy. So if you put it in a container like this, that's not going to foam up. Sometimes it could just cause it to squirt everywhere and that's not really ideal. So if you are thinking about using Dr. Bronner's as hand soap, definitely repurpose the ones that have the foaming feature. I wear contacts. I don't have good eyesight. That's not a problem, but that's not gonna stop me from not wearing contacts, okay? I love my contacts. Um, so I have here my Clear Care. This is a hydrogen peroxide solution. And then I also have here my OptiFree Express. Now this is great because sometimes you put in your contact and it feels uncomfortable or you put in your contact and you realize you have an eyelash in between. You need just a solid saline solution to just cleanse that lens. Um, you can't use hydrogen peroxide to just cleanse your lens real quick. This is a six hour soak that you're supposed to use to clean your contacts. It's supposed to really deep clean all of that protein buildup and the bacteria. This is my favorite toothpaste. Yeah, I'm gonna need Hello to slide into my emails real quick because this stuff 
makes an appearance in every single empties. I promise you, it's my favorite. Um, so this one is the hemp seed one and it is the fluoride toothpaste. My doctor or my dentist told me to start using fluoride toothpaste because it's going to help protect my teeth. So I took their recommendation on that. Um, I have here the Ulta Beauty Brush and Sponge Cleanser. Now this is like a shampoo for your brushes and sponges and it's a little liquid. This stuff is pretty okay. It's pretty mediocre. It doesn't do the best job but it does do a good job especially if you are trying to clean a lot of powders off of your brushes mm, Trader Joe's I love Joe I do I really do um, so he came out with um, this candle during the fall season the honey crisp apple candle this is such a delight smell like I just feel like Trader Joe's candles are pretty inexpensive they're around three dollars and they just smell so so amazing like this mmm like just mmm like just a, mm, just an apple it just smells so good I love it so much and I just I wish I had purchased more I don't know what I was thinking of just purchasing one so I'm gonna have to wait until next fall season to get more because having one is definitely not enough and I love the smell of artificial apple but this smells like so fresh like it just smells like you have an apple in front of your face like it oh great I don't claim to be a narcissist I don't but let me live if I tell you that I have jasmine scented lotions okay just let me let me do it let me do it please thank you I go through a lot of hand sanitizers like this but I don't use it inside the house I always take these Bath and Body Works hand sanitizers with me in my purse typically at home I will use Purell like this in the bottle um, if you are thinking like where do you get that I always go to Target and I always try and go late at night or early in the morning because that's when they do stock up on their clinic cleaning supplies cleansing supplies um, so that's really good and alongside that Purell topic I do have Purell wipes love this stuff I actually keep this in my client kit because I wipe down surfaces with a um, surface spray it's a medical grade surface spray and then I use this on top to really cleanse that area and to make sure that it's ready to be worked on and then I also have these ones by shop miss a these ones are the pure sanitizing wipes this is the mint and this one is the lemon and I just love these to just travel with in my car in my purse these ones you just never can go wrong because I am that person who always spills and I know that you know these are handy because we are in a pandemic but also for somebody who's really clumsy like myself and there we have it everybody. I am finished with my fall empties. Can you freaking believe it? I ran through a lot of stuff, but I feel like I have a lot more that I need to go through. I have a full skincare drawer that continues to be replenished and it's not my fault. It's not. My friends just so happened to give me skincare and things of that nature. And you know what? Blame my friends. Blame them, not me. Yeah, I don't have a problem. But in all seriousness, I do have a lot of things that I am trying to go through and I feel like I'm really good. I have things that I have been focusing on to use up for the time being and I feel like I'm going at a really solid pace. So I'm really happy about that. Hopefully in winter I use a lot more skincare and a lot more nail polish and a lot more makeup and a lot more hair care. I don't use a lot of hair care, do I? But that's just a goal of mine. So I hope you guys all really enjoy this one. Thank you Lux SB for sponsoring a part of this video. And I hope you guys do get a chance to check that out. As well as some of the other products that I mentioned in this video. I know I do a lot of speed reviews here. But hopefully it was enough to just get you guys the general idea and if you guys do want more full in-depth reviews I do have a lot of my full in-depth reviews on my channel on certain products so I will try and have those linked up above for you as well all right thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one bye peace out Girl Scouts